Hello and welcome back to another Poolside Chat presented by annualpools.com. I'm Rob. And I am Matthew. I'm also known as the poor man's Rick Ross. The question goes as such. I'm programming my variable speed pump and I have a question. What speed should I set the pump on to make sure my salt system continues to work? Rob? All right, that's a good question. Uh, the concern would be that if you run the pump at too low of a speed, it's not going to trigger the flow switch, which tells the salt system to run or not run. Uh, basically, the flow switch is what goes after the uh, salt cell. Uh, there's, a, there's a switch in there, a two-prong piece, basically, with two points of contact. If there's enough flow, those two points of contact are going to touch, telling the system to run. If there's not enough flow, those two points aren't going to touch, and scan the salt system is not going to run. But to answer the original question, uh, every pool is different, so there isn't a set speed. Um, most of these salt systems are going to require 10 to 25 gallons per minute, so check your owner's manual to see what your system is going to require. Uh, so what you want to do is start the pump on a low speed and kick the speeds up until the salt system says it's okay and it has enough flow. Yeah, and uh, just to kind of compensate for when your filter gets dirty, uh, once you find that low benchmark, you want to actually set the uh, normal filtering uh, level like a couple of notches above, just so when your filter gets dirty uh, and the flow kind of gets restricted, your salt chlorinator um, kind of run times or flow sensor isn't affected. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just kind of set it a couple of notches above and you should be good uh, for those dirty days. Yep. Uh, Good job covering everything. Do my best. <laughs> uh, if you have any comments, uh, please leave them down below. Uh, and for all of your pool and spawn needs, please contact inyopools.com. Thank you for joining us. Bye.